surf. But you're a surfer, so what the hell do you do with your life? Well, this week, there was absolutely no surf. It was so windy, so messy. There's gale force winds. So this wind has completely ruined the waves and just made it all mushy. And like, I can't even walk outside with my longboard. I would literally fly away and my board would go flying off into the atmosphere. So in this week's vlog, I'm gonna just show you what you can get up to if the surf is flat, the surf is unsurfable, or you are landlocked, but you still wanna progress, you still wanna keep up your surfing fitness, how can you do that? Well, I'm gonna show you in this video. So stick around, I'm Erica, if you're new, subscribe to my channel. I hope you enjoy this video, let's get into it. This is new. I'm going to the gym. I joined like last week. I've been once and now I'm going for my second time. I don't wanna go, but I'm gonna, I've gotta do it. I'm out of breath. I need to work on my cardio. So we're gonna go to the gym, build up my cardio and endurance and go running on a freaking treadmill. Cause I don't wanna run up and down these streets because it is so hilly where I live. <sighs> a bit scared and not as confident as I used to be in the gym. So I need to build up my confidence just going to the gym and knowing what I'm doing and using the machines and all that stuff can be really intimidating. So let's just get through it together and you'll be there as my support. Thank you for being here for me. I really appreciate you. Let's go to the gym. <laughs> I am sweaty and red. I just got out of the gym and went to the supermarket. I got a no turkey and stuffing sandwich. I haven't eaten yet, so that's not very good, is it? <laughs> to be completely honest with you, this week has been a really hard week for me, like mentally. Going to the gym has definitely helped me just like feel more energized in my body. I've definitely been feeling low, which is okay. I know it's fine to feel low. I think it's also, there's some factors. It is cold <laughs> and gray. I haven't been able to surf. The, the surf, if you're in England, you will know that it has been so stormy and crazy waves, like really messy. So I haven't been able to do the thing that I love, which is surfing. And obviously I film content. So I've been feeling not that motivated. It's been raining, so I haven't been skating. Tomorrow I'm gonna go to an indoor skate park, so that's cool, but it just sucks when you can't do the things you love because of the weather. And maybe you can relate. I know a lot of you like to surf and skate and do the same things that I like to do. I joined the gym last week, working on my cardio. I'm pretty happy with myself and proud of myself for doing that because it is scary. Just like we work on our physical health, we have to. We have to prioritize working on our mental health. This video is in paid partnership with BetterHelp. Really recommend BetterHelp therapy. It is great because you can schedule a time which is most convenient for you. You can have your therapy sessions as a video call, a phone call, text messaging, write in your journal and your therapist replies to you. It is really a nice way to go about therapy and introduce you to therapy I think. So I love the live video sessions with my therapist and I can't recommend it enough. So if you think you might benefit from therapy consider BetterHelp. You can click the link in my video description or visit betterhelp.com forward slash Erica. To get started, you fill out a questionnaire to help assess you with your specific needs and wants. But once you fill out that questionnaire, you'll get matched with your therapist in most cases within 48 hours. So over 4 million people have used BetterHelp. So why don't you join us and start using BetterHelp as well and just work on your mind and help yourself mentally. Honestly, your future self will thank you. So again, if you are interested in starting therapy, consider BetterHelp. Click the link in the video description. Again, that really helps support the channel. And by clicking that link, you automatically get 10% off your first month of therapy with BetterHelp. So you can connect with the therapist and see if it helps you. Okay, and let me know in the comments if it has helped you. It's time to go home, have a shower. I'm a stinky gal, eat this food. We'll do some surf training at home. You might be like, Erica, how the hell can you do surf training at home? Well, watch to find out. We are going to the indoor skate park today. I'm bringing Jesse along with me. <laughs> 
weekend we're meeting up with some friends there and it's gonna be so fun i can't wait and what's really exciting is in a couple weeks we've actually hired out the entire skate park all to ourselves for a couple hours in the evening um one night and i can't wait to do that that would be so fun because obviously when we go there it's open to the public so there's usually a load of people but the fact that you can just hire out the skate park is so cool so i'll definitely make a video about that so subscribe and put your notification bell on so you don't miss out on my future videos okay let's go we've got the skate park all to ourselves i'm so excited look at this so we can practice some half pipe stuff. I'm just like quickly gonna run around. I'm quickly gonna run around. We got the vert ramp. This is like super steep and high. I don't know if you can really see, but it's super high. And then into the main bit is so cool. This is my favorite part of the park. So this is what it's gonna be like when we hire it out all to ourselves. We're the first ones here. So we have a little taster of what's to come. <laughs> Oh, let's, let's bitch about Erica. Erica sucks. She's such a little <laughs> dead. <laughs> can't stand the bitch. <laughs> I'm actually going to dump her after this skate session. Yeah, if she falls over, you have to dump her. <laughs> bitching about, bitch about you to camera. Hello! Hello! Okay, let's go. And today, I've got my Carver surf skate. If you can invest in a surf skate for your surfing training, like it is so good. This is my balance board. It is a long version of a balance board because it's for longboarders who want to practice their cross stepping. So you can actually like go up and down the board. It is so hard, but it's really good for just practicing your balancing and your stance and also your cross stepping. It's really good for everything pretty much. And I got this extra long pole as well. look forward not down even though that's so hard right now because this feels so sketchy <gasps> and then you can practice like hanging five and stuff it feels really sketchy guys i feel like i'm just gonna stack it and hit my head on the wooden corners of my house okay let's try again but it's actually a workout like i get puffed out doing this shit okay and then you can practice like your hand placement, where your eyes are, your knees. And even just doing this is, I think, good practice. Okay, and then a cross stepping action. Oh, I did it. That's pretty good. Okay, now to go backwards. Whee. I find that my hips usually are quite side on, which isn't that good for longboarding. Kind of want to be front on. Do you know what I mean? I've also got this one where you practice going like side to side. This one I really find hard. Okay, and then you get low and then you just do this. Okay, it's hard doing this in a very small space because I just feel like the wood's gonna go fine. That's pretty good. Whoa, how do I get over? 
pretty fun. This is what it looks like up close. It's so cute, the design as well. But yeah, this is the longboard version. And then I got obviously that long pole to practice the cross stepping. I'm just watching some sort of surf tutorials online. YouTube is honestly like the best place to get free content. Obviously I post vlogs and people post surf tutorials which I find so helpful and it's so chilled like today it's been so windy and rainy and I just I don't want to even to go outside so next best thing to improve your surfing watch a surf tutorial so one of the guys that I like to watch because obviously I longboard and there's a lot of techniques that I want to learn like I want to get better at my cross stepping and my nose riding and just overall positioning on the wave and my feet positioning like there's so many factors to surfing that I think we should all be improving on that's what I'm doing right now but I really suggest Ben Considine he is a pro surfer longboarder from Australia and yeah he's really cool I like watching his stuff and another one that I know Jesse is really into watching is Ombi Surf which I have watched before they have tons of content and they have for short borders, long borders, and for surf skates. So it's like, they have everything. So I'll pop their channels here and in the video description so you can easily like go check them out and check out some surf tutorials. Um, there's also like a surf skate tutorial. I know that's not surfing, but surf skates help progress your surfing. So it makes sense to get better at surf skating as well. And I will pop that just here as well. Check that guy out, he's really cool. It's just a really easy way to learn. And like for me, visually learning is really helpful. Just seeing someone do an example and like show it on the screen really helps me. One reason why I watch quite a few surf tutorials is because I didn't get a coach when I started to learn to surf, which is not the best idea, but you know, it's expensive getting a coach, you know, you have to pay for that shit. And I just grabbed a board and just went out and just taught myself and got pointers from friends and family which isn't always the best because you know a coach knows what they're talking about anyway I learned a lot of bad habits when I started to surf and now because I want to get better and progress I need to unlearn these bad habits and that means going back to the very basics of surfing literally relearning how to pop up how to paddle how to catch a wave correctly like all of these things I have to relearn and it can be quite challenging because I get really impatient and I want to be good right away and I want to be like a professional surfer but that's not going to happen unless I really work on the foundations of surfing and I kind of like want to run before I can walk like I want to be doing nose rides and freaking airs I don't know and snaps with my longboard but first I've just got to you know go back to basics and really just get good at those skills at the like basic skills yeah guys if you can get a surf coach or just watch surf tutorials honestly it is a free way to progress your surfing and get really better really better it's a really better okay i'm a bit tired <laughs> i'm just gonna watch some more of this but yeah it's going good And lastly, you can book a surf retreat, a surf trip abroad and actually get good waves that are consistent and warm. And why not get away for the winter? I haven't had a winter in a year or so because I went to Australia and I was just having an endless summer, which is the absolute dream. But then it does get a bit too much and then you're like, actually, I do want some colder weather and just like be all cozy and wrap up warm. And now I'm in England and the weather is turning and it is becoming winter very quickly and getting dark at like 4pm. I'm feeling, you know, the seasonal depression kick in and I want to go away. <laughs> I have been looking online at where to go, best places to surf and um, I would love to plan a surf trip this winter and I suggest you do the same. Also, I'm gonna be hosting my own surf retreats next year, so click the link in the video description and you can keep up to date with all my surf retreats and you can sign up and book if you like. I think surf trips are probably the best way to cope when there is no surf and you have the, the money, the funds to go away. But I really wanna make like 
a surf trip for surfer girl content creators so if you don't have to be like an established content creator but if you just like making content and you want to you know take photos do shoots make tiktoks together film youtube videos like that is just my dream life like i love doing that stuff with other people because creating content is actually quite lonely uh the majority of time i am in my room by myself like i'll give you a little I was just doing some balance board training and I'm just talking to you guys on the camera, on my phone, so it's actually pretty lonely and it's just so nice to meet other like-minded people who like to create content and surf. So I'm planning a surf trip for next year for surfer girl content creators who want to meet up, collaborate, have fun, like surf amazing waves and travel, like that is my dream. So if you're interested, um, DM me your email address and I will send you more details. I love you all. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Mwah, mwah, mwah. I hope this video helped. Okay, love you.